Hi YouTubers, uh, it's just re reminiscing back about years ago, uh, uh, the way there was uh, always a bit of nationalism and pride and people were proud of their country. If you went out to a, say, uh, hear a band playing or whatever, at the end of the night you'd have the national anthem was the last song played. Or if you went to, uh, uh, say, any matches or whatever, uh, they played the national anthem before the game. Now they still do it at all Ireland's and stuff like that in the GAA football and hurling, etc. But even on the television, the la at night time, before the channel had closed, you'd have the national anthem being played, you know. And uh, the government of this country, and I know governments in other countries aren't into nationalism a anymore. Uh, like even in. Uh, say Ireland, if you look at any of our heroes or our patriots, uh, the government only pay lip service to them, the, the parties only pay lip service to them. Uh, they uh, have statues around the country to freedom fighters and uh, they don't take care of them. They, they absolutely couldn't give a damn about them. Uh, they don't really teach Irish history properly in schools. You get the Stone Age, the Metal Age, the Iron Age, or whatever you, and then uh, you have a little brief blip of, say, Irish national history, say, with the revolutionary periods of 1798, 1916. Uh, it's, uh, it's tried to be made unfashionable to be someone who loves their country. And... Uh, it's not just happening in Ireland, in England now as well. If you if you fly a, an English flag, you're seen as a racist, which is pure nuts. They're just people that like their country, you know. And all across Europe, this is happening, you know. I remember it before Jack Charlton took over the Irish soccer team and started getting success. If you flew an Irish tricolour out of your window or in your garden, the guards would give you a knock on the door to see what way you were politically, you know. Uh, it's just, uh, it's bad for the future when you're not getting people uh, instilling pride in them, instilling pride in your country in them, you know? That's what I think anyway. Uh, thank you.